Our next guest warns the regional bank chaos is destroying credit creation and fears it will have painful consequences for the economy. Stuart Sopp is the CEO of fintech company Current. Stuart, good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, Mark Zandi of Moody's has said that uh, the coming credit tightening is like three uh, hikes. Howard Lupnick this morning on Squawk Watch says it's 100 basis points. Well, how do you see the impact playing out? Yeah, I think right now, from, from a consumer standpoint, like um, the Fed uh, interest rate policy has a lag of about 12 months, and so if, uh, consumer credit is now starting to hit. I think when you look at the specific names that we're seeing now, the regional banks that, um, that are starting to sell off today, like uh, PacWest, um, we're seeing something like 50% off, 50 uh, to 60% off. Um, this is a different problem than we saw from uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Um, this is short sellers coming in, they're driving deposits away, and that's a very different dynamic. It's a different, also a different bank dynamic because these are regional banks that are focused on um, local lending uh, and uh, local businesses, which is very different from Silicon Valley, which was mainly centered around tech. And I would say people who have money over the $250,000 FDIC deposit level. What have you seen? Um, we've heard from many banks that the flight of deposits out has stabilized. Did you benefit from some of that flight out? And what are you seeing right now? Yes, uh, a little. I think fintech in general has a payments model, which is slightly different to the long duration um, uh, model that we're seeing right now. Uh, it's like 2008. If, you, if I, you know, I was a Wall Street trader for 16 years, um, and when I put on that cap, I, I, you know, I get PTSD a little bit from from what's happening right now. Uh, but that was a credit problem. Uh, and so we're not seeing the same kind of credit problems. Banks are uh, in a much better state than they were ever before. Um, but what we're seeing right now is a duration bubble. It's the everything bubble. And this bubble is bursting right now. And I think there is contagion, not within the banking sector, but across sectors. Auto loans, credit cards, real estate. This is something that's happening right now. And I think that's why the regulators are really struggling to get a hold of this. Stuart, when you started Current, I mean, you really wanted to take on some of the incumbents, right? You wanted to serve um, a, a consumer that you didn't think was being served well by these massive money center banks. When you look at what's going on right now, it just seems like they are the beneficiaries of everything that's going on with the regionals. What does that mean? We spent a lot of time talking about fintech, or we have over the last few years. What does it mean to someone like you who has been building and you've been kind of trying to go after these sorts of guys, but it seems like they're going to come out of this much stronger? Yeah, I, I think it's down to the demographic that you serve. And so in fintech, in neobanks, we're, we're focused on blue-collar workers, people who are living paycheck to paycheck, the, the, the normal American, right? I wouldn't say average, normal American uh, person. When you're talking about Chase and, uh, and these big money center banks, they're trying to bank everyone, which it means that it's, it doesn't really fit for everyone. Um, regional banks are obviously more specialized, more niche in terms of how they lend. I think there's a big gap that's being built through their business model that is, that is coming about that the big money center banks won't be able to fill. And I think it's our time, it's Neobank's time through a payment model, primarily a different business model, to really um, uh, fulfill that need. And you're starting to see that even with the earnings today with Block and Coinbase and such. I mean, if you compare that to the Q1 of, of what's happening with, with regionals, you're starting to see a differentiation in financial services. Um, put your trader cap on, because yep. you mentioned 16 years. You've also got the, the financial services sort of credentials here. So meld them together. How do you see this ending? I mean, do you think that um, FRC going to receivership and J.P. Morgan picking up the assets with the help from the FDIC, is that the playbook here? Or are banks just waiting on the bigger banks, waiting on the sidelines for these you know, under duress regional banks to, to find the same fate, for them to pick up the bones out of receivership? Yeah, you saw TD pull back today on First Horizon. I think that was a smart move by them. Um, they really have the pick of the bunch. If you're, if you're in the market to pick up a regional bank, you really do. Uh, you should wait. I think there is a structural problem, the moral hazard that we've all talked about uh, through the FDIC and, and maybe the administration, really waiting for receivership. There is no auctions happening. Even the JP Morgan deal with, with FRC, it, there was no auction. And, and so it was really a forced marriage, and, and there was a good deal for J.P. Morgan. Yeah. So if you're in the market for a regional, the regulators are telling you and the, and the administration is telling you, wait, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll sort this out. So there's no impetus. We'll share the losses. We'll lend you money. Yeah. And we'll raise deposit caps for you. That's right.